Hey there, I'm Eva. Before we dive into my story, do me a favor, will you? Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get into it. I remember walking into the gala, the air buzzing with excitement and clinking glasses. I had worked tirelessly all year, eyeing that promotion. It was more than a title. It was recognition, a testament to my sweat and late nights. The room was a sea of suits and sparkling dresses, but all I could focus on was the impending announcement. The CEO, Mr. Thompson, took the stage. He was a man of few words, always indifferent. But tonight, he seemed even more detached. As he started speaking about the company's achievements, my heart pounded in my chest. And now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, he said. I straightened my posture, ready for my name to be called. But it wasn't my name that followed. It was Mark's. I felt the room spin as Mark walked up with that smug grin of his. I couldn't believe it. Mark was the guy who'd do anything to climb up the ladder. The guy who made a hobby out of taking credit for others' work. And here he was, taking mine. As Mark started his acceptance speech, it only got worse. I owe this achievement to innovative strategies and forward thinking, he said, echoing the ideas I had pitched in meetings. My ideas. I felt a hand on my shoulder. It was Lily, my only true ally at work. Eva, are you okay? She whispered. No, I'm not, I replied my voice barely above a whisper. That promotion was mine, and he knows it. The rest of the night was a blur. I remember snippets of conversations, people congratulating Mark, pats on the back, empty laughs. But all I felt was this growing rage and betrayal inside me. I couldn't stand it anymore. Not wanting to make a scene, I slipped out early, the sound of celebrations echoing behind me. As I walked down the empty, dimly lit street, my mind was racing. This wasn't just about a promotion anymore. It was about justice. Mark had crossed a line, and it was time someone showed him he couldn't just get away with it. I knew it wouldn't be easy. Mark had Mr. Thompson and most of the higher-ups eating out of his hand. But I had something he didn't. I had the truth on my side. That night, as I lay in bed, staring at the ceiling, I made a decision. Mark was going to pay for what he'd done, and I was going to make sure of it. I didn't know how I was going to do it yet, but one thing was for sure. I wasn't going to rest until I exposed Mark for the fraud he was. This was no longer just about my career. It was about setting things right. So with a plan starting to form in my head, I drifted off to sleep, the image of the gala and Mark's smirking face etched in my mind. The days after the gala were a blur of anger and determination. I was on a mission to expose Mark for the fraud he was. The first step? gathering evidence. I started at my desk, sifting through emails and reports. Then came the first big break. I found an email thread mark asking a junior for info, the kind I'd shared with him in confidence. But here's the kicker. He forwarded it to the boss, claiming it as his own work. That snake. One afternoon, I was at the printer when Lily came over, whispering urgently, Eva, you won't believe what I just heard. What is it? I asked, my heart racing. Lunchtime gossip. Mark's planning to pitch your project idea to a client next week. He's passing it off as his own. I clenched my fists, anger boiling inside me. That's the last straw. He's not getting away with this. One evening as I was leaving, I bumped into Mark in the parking lot. He flashed that sleazy smile. Working late again, Eva? Dedication. I like that. I forced a smile. Just tying up some loose ends. He laughed, oblivious. Keep it up. Who knows? Maybe you'll get that promotion next year. I gritted my teeth as he walked away. Little did he know, his days were numbered. The final piece of the puzzle came from an unlikely source, Mr. Thompson himself. He approached me one morning, coffee in hand. Ava, can we talk? I followed him into his office, heart pounding. What now? Listen, Eva, I know you were expecting that promotion. Frankly, I was outvoted. Mark's got a knack for impressing the right people. I bit back a retort. Is there a point to this, Mr. Thompson? He sighed, looking out the window. Just be careful, Eva. This place can be a snake pit. As I left his office, it hit me. Mark wasn't just stealing ideas. He was manipulating the entire system. But now, I had everything I needed to bring him down. As the week drew to a close, I knew what I had to do. I scheduled a meeting with the higher-ups. It was time for Mark's final act. Stay tuned for the next chapter. You won't believe how this showdown goes down. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the story. Trust me, 
You don't want to miss this. The following days at work felt like a spy movie, with me in the lead role. The bitterness from the gala hadn't faded. It fueled me. I was on a mission. And my first recruit was Sam, the IT guy with a heart of gold and a knack for finding things that weren't meant to be found. Sam, I need your help, I started, my voice low as we sat in the crowded cafeteria. It's about Mark. Sam raised an eyebrow. What about him? The guy's a legend around here. That's just it. He's not the hero everyone thinks he is. I have reasons to believe he's been playing dirty, and I need proof. Sam leaned in, his curiosity piqued. I'm listening. With Sam on board, it was time to loop in Lily. She was more than just a co-worker. She was a friend, someone I trusted. We met at our usual coffee spot, a cozy little place away from the prying eyes of the office. Lily, it's about Mark. I think he's been sabotaging me, and others too. Lily's face hardened. I had my suspicions, Eva. There's something off about him. What do you need from me? The three of us started meeting regularly, piecing together a picture of Mark's deception. Sam hacked into some emails, and what we found was explosive. Mark had been stealing ideas, manipulating data, even sabotaging other people's projects. Each revelation added fuel to my fire. I couldn't believe the extent of Mark's treachery, but there it was, in black and white. He wasn't just a credit thief. He was a full-blown corporate saboteur. The more we dug, the more allies we found. People who'd been wronged by Mark, overlooked, or pushed aside. They came with their own stories, their own pieces of the puzzle. Together, we started building a case against him, a file so damning it would be impossible to ignore. As the big company meeting approached, our plan took shape. We'd present our findings, lay it all out in the open. It was risky, sure, but it was the only way to expose Mark for who he truly was. I could feel the tension in the air as the day of the meeting drew closer. We double-checked our evidence, rehearsed our presentation, prepared for every possible scenario. Lily, Sam, and the others. We were a team now, united by a common cause. We weren't just doing this for me. We were doing it for everyone Mark had stepped on to get to the top. The night before the meeting, I couldn't sleep. My mind was racing with what-ifs. What if we were wrong? What if Mark managed to talk his way out of it? But then I'd remember the faces of my allies, their stories of frustration and betrayal, and my resolve would harden. We were ready. It was time to take Mark down, to show the company, the world, that people like him couldn't win. Not this time. This time, justice would prevail. So there I was, on the morning of the meeting, my heart pounding, my team by my side. We walked into that conference room not as victims, but as warriors. It was our moment, our time to set things right. And as I looked around at the faces of my colleagues, some oblivious to what was about to unfold, I knew one thing for sure. After today, nothing would ever be the same again. The company's quarterly meeting was buzzing with the usual corporate chatter when we walked in. My team and I had a steely determination about us. We were about to blow the lid off Mark's charade. The meeting began with the usual business updates. I could feel Mark's smug glances from across the room. He had no idea what was coming. My hands were steady, but my heart was racing. Finally, it was time for the new business segment. Mr. Thompson gave a nod, and that was my cue. I stood up, my team behind me, a united front. Thank you, Mr. Thompson. I have something crucial to present today. It's about Mark and his so-called achievements. The room fell silent, all eyes on me. Mark's face was a mix of confusion and arrogance. Over the past few months, we've gathered undeniable evidence of Mark's manipulative and deceitful behavior. This includes taking credit for others' work, falsifying reports, and sabotaging colleagues' projects. The room erupted in murmurs, and the screen lit up with emails, reports, and testimonials. Mark's face turned white. What is this nonsense, Ava? Trying to make a name by slandering me? Mark's voice was shaky, his facade crumbling. One by one, my team stood up, sharing their accounts. Lily spoke about her project that Mark had sabotaged. Sam presented the email trails. Others chimed in with their stories. The evidence was overwhelming. Mr. Thompson stood up, his face a mask of shock and anger. This is a serious accusation, Ava. Are you certain of this? Absolutely, Mr. Thompson. Every piece of evidence has been meticulously verified. The room was in chaos now. 
People were talking over each other, some in disbelief, others expressing their long-held suspicions about Mark. Mark tried to defend himself, but his words were drowned out by the evidence glaring from the screen. His usual confident demeanor had evaporated, replaced by a desperate cornered look. Finally, Mr. Thompson called for order. This is deeply troubling. Mark, I have no choice but to suspend you effective immediately pending a full investigation. The words hung in the air, heavy with a mixture of vindication and disbelief. As Mark left the room, the weight of what we had done began to sink in. We had exposed a fraud, protected the integrity of our work, and perhaps changed the course of the company's culture. After the meeting, Mr. Thompson approached me. Eva, I had no idea. You've shown incredible courage and integrity. I'd like to offer you Mark's position. I paused, feeling a rush of emotions. This was what I had been working for, wasn't it? But as I stood there, I realized something had changed in me. Thank you, Mr. Thompson, but I must decline. My journey here has taught me a lot. It's time for me to move on and seek new challenges. Walking out of that meeting room, I felt a sense of closure. I had stood up for what was right, and in doing so, found a new path for myself. That confrontation wasn't just the end of Mark's reign. It was the beginning of a new chapter for me, one where I would lead on my terms, guided by the values I held dear. At my farewell party, the office was buzzing with a different kind of energy. People were curious, some even excited. I stood there, ready to turn the page to a new chapter in my life. As most of you know, I'm leaving the company, but what you don't know is why. I paused, the room silent, waiting. I'm starting my own business, focusing on ethics, innovation, and true teamwork. There was a murmur of surprise, then a round of applause. Lily came up to me, her eyes shining. Eva, that's amazing. Count me in. I want to be part of something real, something like what you're describing. Sam joined us, grinning. You're going to need some tech support for this new venture. I'm your guy. One by one, colleagues approached, expressing their admiration and interest in joining my new company. It was overwhelming, but in the best way possible. Later, as I sat in my new, still sparse office, I reflected on everything that had led me to this moment. The betrayal, the fight for justice, and now, the start of something entirely my own. I realized that it wasn't just about getting back at Mark or proving a point. It was about discovering my own strength and values, understanding what true leadership meant. It was about creating an environment where people could thrive, be respected, and work together towards something meaningful. My phone buzzed. It was a text from Lily. Can't wait to start on Monday. Let's show the world what we're made of. I smiled, looking around at the empty space that would soon be filled with the energy and passion of a team united by a shared vision. This was more than a new beginning. It was a realization of my own potential, a chance to build something grounded in integrity and collaboration. As I set up my desk, I felt a sense of purpose and excitement. The challenges ahead were undoubtedly many, but I was ready for them. With a team that believed in the vision as much as I did, I knew we could make a real difference. So, here I am, ready to embark on this new journey, surrounded by people who believe in change and growth. We're small now, but I have big dreams for us. We're going to change the game, not just play it. And as I look out of my office window, the city sprawling before me, I feel hopeful. The road ahead is uncharted, but that's what makes it so exciting. We're starting something new, something good, and I can't wait to see where it takes us. So, as the R curtain falls on Eva's tale, it invites us to ponder a crucial decision she made, a decision that might resonate with many of us. Imagine yourself in Eva's shoes, confronted with the choice of either staying within the familiar confines of your current job, accepting a well-earned promotion after exposing a wrongdoer like Mark, or boldly stepping out to establish your own company, driven by your values and vision. This choice encapsulates more than just a career crossroads. It's about the principles that guide us and the impact we aspire to have. What would your choice be in such a situation? Would you opt for the security and recognition of the promotion, or take the leap of faith into entrepreneurship as Eva did? Dive into the comments section and let us know your take on this. Each perspective adds depth to this discussion, and we value your input highly. Also, if this story sparked your interest or made you think, please show your support by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Your engagement is the heartbeat of our community, 
sparking lively discussions and inspiring future stories. So, let's keep the conversation going.